Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a brand new model that might look a little bit familiar to you, but it's got a pretty significant twist. This is the 2024 Sandpiper 40 Duplex. And when I say it might look a little bit familiar to you, this is gonna be in that range of that 42 view, that 44 view, the video that took off you know, pretty darn well for me. But what they did is they altered the floor plan a little bit to put a queen bed in the back, the front, and then you got two la lofts, a bath and a half, and washer and dryer prep. So you can actually sleep quite a few folks, uh, that is for sure. But again, it's the 2024 Sandpiper 40 duplex. Now this is not in full production yet, so I wanna show you the specifications because I'm not sure, you know, if they'll be changing a little bit or, um, you know, kind of what the story is, but it's about to go into production. It's got an overall GVWR of 15.5 with a dry weight of 12.8. So this thing is incredibly heavy. This is going to be perfect for, you know, that, that lake life, that home away from home. You know, if you got some property, you want to plop this down, absolutely perfect for it. I've got four kids, four kids, three dogs at home. And this is something that'd be very suitable for us, especially with that extra half bath and the ability to do your laundry. But let's go ahead and start off on the inside portion of this tour and then our work our way around the outside. If you guys find some value in what I'm doing here, if you guys like my style, uh, drop a, a little a like, a comment, subscription. That would be fantastic. Really trying to hit my goal of 70,000, 75,000 subscribers here in 2024. But uh, yeah, just in case, again, 2024 Sandpiper, 40 duplex. Today I'm at the Sandpiper Sierra manufacturer. Uh, pretty darn cool out here, watching them kind of go building. So you got the loft there up above, dual opposing slides. You got a lot of uh, living room space, not a ton of seating out here. But I'll tell you, in a family like mine, you're often not going to be able to accommodate both comfortable sleeping and a ton of seating. So it really does not bother me. We're going to try to get outside you know, and get happening anyway. But um, man, you got a lot going on. Massive loft, bedroom back here, bathroom to the left. And then like I was saying, dual opposing slides. So quite a bit of room here around the island. I also like how they got that, that waterfall finish. I think it also breaks up with the light and the dark. Pretty darn nice. It's also going to be that solid surface countertop. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Little hidden pantry there behind the TV. And then of course, you know, you got your seating. You're also going to get fairly tall slides as well. So, you know, I am six feet tall. You're probably looking at around six, three or so for slide height. So unless you are you know, a, uh, a giant, you're going to have no problems with that. But big windows, big views, they're also tinted. And the ones on the side do open up and they come with the old Dracula shade. Stop the old skin from sizzling. Keep the nosy eyes out. A place for, you know, dinner for four, maybe play some euchre, you know, something like that. You also got a little charging station right over there so you can plop your cell phone down. Uh, absolutely no problem. And then you have your recliners right here. And these are going to be the quick recline. So they lay back nice and flat, very comfortable. I've taken in a snoozer and chairs just like this, you know, many a times. And then as you sit down, you notice you got this little portion out right here that is collapsible. So it's there purely to give you more kind of working room without hogging up the living room. So you can flip that down. You got a perfect view of your TV. You also got the Connex sound bar. So you get nice and bumping built in DVD player zones a b and c so that's inside outside and both sides and then of course you got your fireplace that puts out about 4700 btus of heat and with the fact that this is a destination rv meant to more be kind of you know plopped and dropped uh, this is going to have better insulation than most of the rvs there out in the market two inch thick walls vacuum bonded sidewalls a lot of good stuff going on you also got a little pantry right here uh, for some additional you know stuff right now i got my you know, all my camera gear, my backpack, stayed in the hotel, heading back home tonight. And then uh, off to Indy for the Lakers game, baby. So that's going to be fun. But right here, you got the ability to get a little bit of Wi-Fi. So some 5G, you know, 4G LTE. That other loft, I'll show you a little bit more of that, you know, here in a second. But let's go ahead and stick to this room. Uh, right here, you got your island. Again, the flip-up counter. You got the farm-style stainless steel undermounted bowl with the high-rise faucet. Hitting those old dish roonies from all angles. You also get access to your plumbing, a little bit of storage. I'd like to see a little bit more in that, but uh, you know that's not, not the most important thing right there. And then you have these pull-out drawers right here that are extremely deep, so I love that. 12-volt Everage Hill refrigerator, so this will run off uh, you know, the battery if you set up you know, like solar or something. 
uh, which most people don't on these destination RVs, but you know, you could, it would run off of it. But pretty darn big. As someone that's got the four kids, this would be probably about, I would say about a five day or so uh, size refrigerator for us. And then the freezer section, uh, you could probably extend that out to about a week. So we'd be packing it full of, you know, different pizzas, snacks, patty wax, whatever you got going on. A really nice oversized oven. This is going to be one of the top three largest ovens in the industry. This is going to be that Furion. So it is not quite full-blown residential, but as you can see, you could still cook a small turkey, possibly some chickens. You also got the three stovetop burner uh, to whip up all the fixings, countertop space left and right, and then six drawers going down that are all going to be, you know, roughly that size, except for the first, the top two uh, are about half that size. Residential style microwave. So they went with a bigger microwave. I like seeing that. And then you get storage, you know, all the way up and around, which is pretty darn snazzy. I also like this. You got a fantastic fan on the roof, accent lighting above the slides. You also have this pendulum lighting, which is just looking fancy as ever. It's clean as a whistle too. Usually when I do these at the factories, they're a little bit dusty. So I like seeing that. And then, um, you know, give you a little look here and then let's head back to the, to the bath in the bedroom. But I could really see myself rocking this, you know, going down to like Lake Norris or something you know, plopping this down. So spiral staircase, it's all going to be one piece steel. It's the, um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It's really heavy. Even a bigger guy like myself can get up in there, you know, no problem. So plenty of places to sleep. You also see you have storage and a bunch of windows all the way up and around there too as well. And then underneath you have one of your beds. So one of your two queen beds, really good natural lighting in here as well. You also get a little bit of storage uh, here underneath. And then the lights are flickering. That little jump box might be dying. But great little place to put some stuff. You also got your counters, you know, for your cell phone or possibly your book. And then you flip it around. This is where you can put a TV. You also got your dresser system going on. So you're going to have six of these drawers right here. And then bada bing, bada boom. You got a place for some hanging items. dual entry into this model so you open that up you can play friendly neighbor if you're sitting down on the old porcelain foot flush aroni you also got a little plumbed in sink a mirror for the old bowling gun baby so bowling just ended last week we got another tournament coming up and then uh i'll be off for about two months but pretty successful season we finished second that was a bummer but from the start that we had second's pretty darn good Fully stackable washer and dryer prepped. So I like seeing that. You know, kind of goes back to that, you know, home away from home type thing. All right, now we're back up into this main living room. Pretty darn cool setup. I forgot to show you the storage here up above the refrigerator. So second loft, a little bit of a bigger loft up here. So as you can see, you got the twin, you got three twins up or two twins and a queen. It looks like, but plenty of storage back there. I also like how it's all kind of fenced in, you know, we got a two and a half year old at home. So if she was up here kind of playing, you wouldn't have to worry about her falling off. The control for the light is also going to be uh, right there as well. And then right here underneath the steps, that's going to be a central vac system. So your road vac, so you, that way you can clean up, kind of get some of the dust swept up and, you know, sucked on out of here. Your control panel is going to be right up here on this main wall, right next to your main entry. So you got your, uh, they upgraded the water heater for this year. So you got the Furion gas water heater. You also got your max air fan, the control for the fan just to help circulate some of the air. This is going to be your Coleman mock. So where you control, you know, your heat, and your AC, which it looks like this unit's got two ACs on it. So two 15,000 uh, ACs, all your slide controls, awning controls, and then your various lighting controls uh, here as well, along with your holded heating pads. So that's going to be 12 volt heat. That's going to be put onto the bottom of your tank. So you can camp a little bit, you know, later into the season or start camping a little bit, you know, earlier into the season. And then you got all your tank fill levels, you know, here too as well. I like seeing the updated shower too. That's definitely going to be new for the 2024. So it's a one piece 
fiberglass shower. You also got the seat there so you can let some, you know, hot water hit you, hike a leg up, shave your legs, do what you got to do. And again, you know, I am a bigger guy. So six foot, 300 pounds. And you can tell I got enough headroom, even with the loft, I'm taking a normal shower. And, you know, depending on what you got going on, you know, there's room for two if you need it. And if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me or drop a comment, say hello, and let me know how I'm doing. Clean cut storage, plenty of it. You also got another porcelain foot flush flown de thrown down here. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Just hang your towel, a little bit more storage. Give you a little view up here. And then, then you are into your bedroom. So you got your big old window up front, which has a little guard on it right now, you know, just for shipping purposes. And then you have another big old storage uh, under here too. And then you got another little place, you know, where your books and some random belongings, whatever you got to put in there, maybe a laptop for the night, windows that open up for a good breeze. And then this is going to have an emergency exit. So pull, push and plop. You're also going to see you got six or four dresser drawers right there. And then four bigger dresser drawers, you know, there too as well. So the top four are going to be looking just like a this. And the other four are going to be, that's not that one. That's for maintenance. Like a that. All right. I think that was a pretty good little quick rundown. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about the new, uh, the new brand. Give your feedback for sure. The new model, I guess. Uh, again, this is the 2024 Sandpiper. 40 duplex uh, all the specifications length height tank size awning sizes will be down in the description as they are published things like uh, you know your awning size so right here are going to be your two marine grade outside speakers you're also going to see you have manual stabilizing jacks i do believe that those are optional so you might want to check you know with your sales guy on that if that is something that you're interested in because i don't believe that they're standard because a lot of people put these up on blocks uh, but great use of space here on the outside with a slide because you do get that open kind of flat area, a big awning that should come out about eight or so feet. So it's going to give you a lot of good shade. So you can sit out here, play some cornhole, play some games, do what you got to do. Two oversized LP tanks. It looks like two 30 pounders right here, along with a space where you can put uh, two batteries as well. You're also going to get a cable hookup and a power outlet. If you want to set up like a picnic table, put a TV out there, maybe have a little you know, movie night outside of the unit. Heated and enclosed underbelly. Again, two inch thick walls with the vacuum bonded construction. You also get the underbelly armor, uh, which is, you know, I'll show you that here in a second, but that's going to be those dual axles there. And then let's see here. Yeah. So it's all that it's called under armor. So it's, um, or what is it? I forget the actual name of it. But it's um, basically it's sub paneled in six different sections so you can or six foot sections so that way you can remove a certain area just makes maintenance a little bit easier. Dual drop frame there too as well. That's interesting. So that's why you got both of those beds and still enough headroom to be sane. LP quick connect is going to be right here so you can hook up your grill. Back end of the hot water heater. This is going to be where uh, one of your dump valves is. So, you know, should have uh, two black tanks, I would imagine. 50 amp connection right there. Yep, and there's going to be your other dump. But then right here is going to be kind of like your, your docking station a little bit. So you're going to have a black tank flush, sprinkler system for your poop tank, basically. Fresh water connections, outside shower. So if you need to spray down the kids or you got a dog or you just want to clean some fish, if you're out fishing, you got a place to do that. And then of course your satellite front and rear as well. Uh, freshwater drain. But all right, guys, I think that about wraps it up. Again, this is the 2024 Sandpiper 40 duplex, their new model. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. See you. No, 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 no,